Hello fans of all strikes and spots, I am Lure of the Day! And I have a pupper with me. Again. And fuck the lag on this goddamn thing. Fuck this lag. <sighs> this episode's gonna have to be put up in, like... Well, it's gonna be put up in one part, but it's gonna be recorded in two parts. Ouch. Because evidently I can only play this game for- Oh! For about seven minutes at a time. Yes, I know this year. This is your little emoji toy. She loves her emoji. She does. She loves her emoji. Fuck! Fuck's sake, I keep needing to turn on the brightness. I'm in a very dark room. I just came in from outside. Cloak? This goddamn thing? Ice cream and co Yay! How bad did I fuck it up? Not bad at all! What kind of lizard is that? Is it like a Japanese water dragon? If so, why does this bastard have one in his tent? Hi, Bella. It's just a cat. It's just a cat. Here, kitty kitty. Oh, it's a good kitty. There's a cat sitting on my stomach. Fuck. Um... Oh boy, I've only been playing this game for four fucking minutes and I'm already failing miserably. I know you've got something to say. Why didn't that register sooner? Oh well. <coughs> One more time you should do it. Except... Oh wait. Fuck. Well. Gonna have to record later. Like I knew I would. Hi. 
Alrighty then. Alright, we're back. I guess. Yes, thank. Oh boy, I'm almost at 80. Oh boy, I'm almost at 90. I can unlock the next case! Yeet! This bitch no longer empty! Oh god, both of my legs itch! Okay. Ah! Son of a bitch. I think that's the first time I've used this phrase while recording. Probably didn't hear half of that. Wee! Pet, pet, pet. Pet little doggo. Yes, hello. This is the little face you give me. Matilda, Serenity, have you heard? Those blasted muggles plowed their diggers right into a forest full of magical creatures. But that can't be right. Shouldn't there be muggle repelling charms? Surely the Ministry would have prevented construction. The paperwork's all tied up at the Muggle Liaison Office, my girl. But now they're saying something's attacked the workers. I'm not surprised. I remember exactly what this is, by the way. Muggles wandering into a forest where magical creatures live is definitely a recipe for trouble. Well, Serenity, we'd better go down to the woods right away. I hate to ask, but what about... What about Matilda? Does, does she not have a score? Poor Matilda. This is the Muggle construction site. I wonder what all this colorful machinery does. <laughs> it's right, we have magic to do everything. Oh wait, like clean up the pub? And carry the troll! Things feel tense here. Let's see if there are any clues to suggest what might- what beast might have attacked the workers. Broken plastic pile of- Oh! Pigeon, that's a kestrel. That's a toolbox. Broken plastic! Crumpled painting. Okay, jacket. Uh. That's a map. Mm, that's not blueprints, but evidently that's the blueprints. Yay! Broken plastic. That looks like a pair of fucking goggles to me. The paper has a painting on it. Good find. As for the broken plastic, if you think it's important, we'll take a closer look. Oi! What are you pair doing on my site? That hard hat's to boot! Good sir, we are with the local constab... Const... Constab... I, I can't pronounce that word right now. I'm too tired. The coffee isn't working yet. I'll ask you to refrain from commenting on our hats or our boots. You're the police? Oh, sorry. Yeah, the police! Sorry, I didn't expect plain clothes. If this is about the attack, let's talk later. My daughter's visiting today. Plain clothes? What a cheek. 
Still, he seems to have fallen for our cunning ruse. Let's take a look around. We've already taken a look around, Matilda. What other looking do you want to do? Clean the crumpled painting. Looks like a picture of a witch to me. You know, uh, just saying. This is probably the worst idea I've ever had. Plus Blueprints. Uh, axe. There we go. Oh, I gained two random XP. Thank. Oh, boy. But I already know what these are. Look. They're, there's not even a question. That's a pair of fucking goggles. It's a child's painting. I guess I'll do this. Let's be honest, how pissed would you be if witches and wizards came out as witches and wizards? Just like, I would be super enthused. Like, yeah, cures for diseases, construction work is easier. Holy shit. This is a child's painting. See the flowers? And an arrow pointing to something scary with big teeth. You're right, the foreman's daughter must have drawn this. We should speak to her at once. Oh boy! Oh, I leveled up. I do love when I level up. Gives me experience. Work belt. I have nothing against Sage. I mean, he's a great guy and all, but why does he have more hints than Cerberus, who seems much more serious and focused. Graffiti. Uh, sandwich tent? That's a fucking tent? Why is there a tent up there? Who put a fucking tent up there? What fucking moron puts a tent on top of a construction building? Why does my ankle itch so bad? Oh! Fucking wasps! Question the foreman's daughter at once. Hello there, you must be the foreman's daughter. What's your name? I'm Bethany Harrison, but I'm not meant to talk to strangers, and you two are very strange. Thanks! <laughs> Same, Matilda. Same. We're looking into this funny business in the forest. Did you draw this picture? Do you like it? Most things in the forest aren't actually scary, but she is. That's the hag who lives in the cottage. A hag in the forest, eh? And a scary one at that. Maybe we should look into this cottage she mentioned. Sounds good.
Let's go question the crazy fairy lady. It. This must be the cottage young Bethany mentioned. It is a little rustic. Wands at the ready, Serenity. No signs of that scary hag she mentioned, so let's look around while we can. D do we not need a warrant? Are there no magical warrants? Venus flytrap, what, where? I love those plants. Those are awesome. Oh. Yellow flowers. And chimes. Bird cage. Uh, rug. Oh joy. Quill. Oh, that's the quill. That was a peacock pin, I guess. Well, I sucked at that. I found a weak old pumpkin pasty covered in fur. Want it, Serenity? Suit yourself. Seems to me this old hag is just a fellow witch. I do hope she hasn't been scaring the muggles. You found her journal? Brilliant! Hold your hippogriffs. It's written in some kind of code. That's a bit suspicious. Hold your hippogriffs? Honestly, I would have expected hold your unicorns, but, you know, whatever. Whatever floats your... I don't give a fuck. Uh... Cushion? I have no idea where anything is. Uh, candle? That is not... Evidently, that's not a candle. Cushion and ca Thank you. That's the candle that looked like a fucking biscuit. You've got to be kidding me. It's not even 420! For the sake of time, specifically being the time on the clock, I'm going to be buying more. Quite literally buying time. Is that the equivalent of buying an oversized coffee? I don't even need to look, that's- that's a fucking- It's a pair of fucking goggles. Turn, will ya? Finally! Don't you give me that shit! It refused to turn! You've deciphered the crazy code in that journal already? You're quick! The latest entry. Day 3298. The fairies are restless. Those awful muggle construction workers are ruining everything. WW. It seems that whoever lives here is no fan of muggles. Could this WW person have attacked the workers to protect the forest's fairies? Maybe Sage can shed some light on this. Like I said, I have no problem with Sage. I mean... It's pretty fucking awesome.
But why does he have more hints than Cerberus? Why is he higher up than Cerberus? Why am I higher up than Myra? Why does Myra have such a low score? I have so many questions! Those are all questions I'm probably gonna have to answer in another video. Cause I don't have much else to say or do. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Laters.